So you want the ultimate gaming PC, where no one else around your skill level will be able to compete with you. This is how you do it. So this is the Zero Bottleneck PC. And you may be thinking, yeah, it's pay for win. So you have to buy the most expensive PC hardware out there. No, this can actually be tailored to sort of any budget. And some of the things on the list, I'll leave a link in the description to everything I talk about here. Some of these things are very inexpensive. And believe me, no one's going to be competing with you at the same sort of skill level, presuming you got the same ping, etc, etc. You will have the competitive advantage. And I will tell you in this setup, which is the most important thing, which product gave me the most games in terms of competitive gaming, just made my gaming a lot better. Which part of this PC setup is the best? Now, one of these things alone means nothing. All these things stack on top of each other. So, so they're accumulative. So this setup will only be good as the weakest link in the chain. So let's start off with Wi-Fi. If you're using network cable, fine, good, no worries. But if you are using Wi-Fi, make sure you have a Wi-Fi 6 router and make sure your PC has Wi-Fi 6E, okay, or Wi-Fi 6 at least. And in the description, check out my recommendations. I'll leave a budget and the top of the line one because I use the best Wi-Fi router out there. That's the ROG Rapture GT X 1600 and that's 10 gig network in Wi-Fi 6E. You're not going to get better than this. So once you've got your network set up good, let's go to the keyboard. I hate this keyboard. This is the Corsair K65 RGB Mini. And I hate it because it's mini, it doesn't have arrow keys and stuff like that. But for gaming, this is the fastest keyboard. Go to this website where they measure the keyboard latency. It's like five times faster than the closest one, right? It's got 8K polling. So it's going to be at least eight times faster than the keyboard you use. That alone won't make much difference. But adding it up with all the other stuff, it will. So even though I hate it, I know it's the fastest. That's why I use it. When it comes to mouse, this is the best mouse for me. Razer Viper 8K. 8K polling, right? That means it's eight times faster than any 1000K polling mouse. And it's light. It's the best mouse I've used. I noticed the difference because I had the version before this that wasn't 8K polling. I could notice once I got 8K polling Viper here, it was smoother. I could notice that. And I like this mouse so much, I bought a backup one. Yep, this is the mouse to use. So there's two things that are very inexpensive, a keyboard and a mouse. Yet they're the fastest ones you're going to get. Probably at least eight times faster, right? So you add this to other stuff like the monitor. This is the best gaming monitor for me. It's the Alienware QD OLED AW3423DW Wolf. Now, if you're into esports, you might want to get the LG 240Hz OLED because it's 16 by 9 is smaller. Or maybe the upcoming, you know, end game by ROG, which that thing should be amazing too. That's a 1440p OLED. But this thing here made the biggest difference to me, okay? Now, I had a 1440p 240Hz monitor before this, an LED display, Alienware it was, and I have actually reviewed 300Hz monitors, 360Hz monitors, 1080p. This was night and day difference to my 240Hz 1440p monitor. No comparison comparison even though it's only 175 hertz it is widescreen so not for esports but for general gaming if you're not a you know competitive esports person and to be honest i would use this for esports like if you're just a casual esports player if you're not actually competing for you know prizes and stuff like that i'd rather have this than any 240 hertz monitor 300 hertz monitor if it's led no this changed my game my aiming's much better i pick up things better because of the contrast the contrast of OLED, you just pick up things better. The color pops more, right? LED displays, they tend to look washed out compared to this. So you don't pick up things as quick. The image is sharp because of the pixel response. Even though it's 175 hertz, I see things tracking across me much better and I hit them much better with this just because it's sharper and the contrast. So yeah, OLED is the way to go for competitive gaming. Maybe you want 16 by 9, maybe try the LG one. I'll put some 360 hertz or 300 hertz monitors in there as well which maybe if you don't have the graphics card to push this sort of resolution on this anywhere maybe those 1080p 300 hertz probably be a better option for you but yeah the best thing out there made the most difference to me now when it comes to the pc i'll leave the pc specs in there but basically when it comes to the pc you just need the pc that can drive your monitor so if you've got a 300 hertz 1080p monitor you need the graphics card that can push that for the game you play. Now I'm lucky, I have an Intel i9-13900KS and RTX 4090. 
it drives my monitor perfectly pretty much i can max the settings and it can still do 175 frames no problem i will say i do like nvidia graphics cards better just because of the nvidia reflex and they do their drivers more often etc and if you don't know the nvidia reflex you know with your mouse it gives you a faster input and that's the thing about that monitor too great input lag as well very low on that but here's the deal when it comes to building a pc with the motherboard just get the cheapest asus motherboard unless you want to spend on bells and whistles okay the cheapest asus motherboard you'll be able to overclock at z790 perfect and if you don't want to overclock just get one of the b760s that i reviewed i've reviewed one of those motherboards perfectly fine just get the graphics card to suit i'll leave a link in the description to my pc but the pc is probably the least important part you just got to be able to drive your monitor right so you add all these things up someone around your skill level you're going to destroy them if you're using this and the network's all the same etc you're going to beat them they won't compete but you just got to make sure every link in the chain is good now i will actually leave in the description my headset that I use which is a JB noise cancelling headset that's good because it isolates the sound I don't hear anything else fan noise on my PC and it's just better for hearing footsteps than that because you can't hear anything else right there's no other ambient noise coming in I'll just leave all the rest of my PC set up in the description. This is how you do it. You build every link in the chain to its maximum performance, ultimate PC. Let me know your specs down there and what you use. I'll catch you in the next one. Tally ho.